Hi. So I'm starting my vlog in the middle of the week. Uh, I don't know, just because I made that video about my ankle monitor and all of that jazz. And now I'm just kind of like going through uh, what I have to do for that. And I kind of just wanted to share my experience. So um, yeah, like don't mind my greasy face right now. It's, it's like almost nine o'clock, I think right now. Um, and don't mind my messy room because literally I just got off work and I went to my, um, I had to take a drug assessment through a counseling place and I had to, they basically recommended that I do four weeks of like group counseling. And honestly, at first well, I was just like, oh, this is going to be like, I don't know because I've never done any of this. So in my mind, I was like, I'm going to, it's like the movies where you sit around in chairs and you're like, hi, my name is blah, 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 you know, and then you talk about your feelings and stuff, but it really wasn't like that. Um, I went to my first session today and it was actually really nice. Like, um, the girl that, the girl that runs the sessions, it, she actually went to like the same school, high school as me and stuff. And it was just like really good. Like we were like talking through things and like, I was just telling her like a little bit about my life and my kids and stuff like that. And then like telling her how I really want to get my nursing degree. And that's something that I wanted to do for a long time, but I've just been putting it off. And now like, I feel like, I don't know if that's even possible now with these charges that I have on me. Um, and then she was just like suggesting what I should do. It was really, really, really actually enlightening. And it was actually, I thought like I would be talking to a bunch of people who are just going to be like, you did something bad and basically judging you. But like everybody that I've talked to at this counseling place have been like so understanding and just like, you know, they actually really do like talk to you as a person. And I don't know, in a way for me, it's actually been nice uh, because I don't get much like interaction other than like with messages. Like I have a lot of friends that I message and stuff on, uh, social media and stuff, but I don't get a lot of like human interaction, um, like face to face because where I work, I'm basically by myself all day. Um, and then I'm here with the kids. And so like when I was talking to her, I was just like talking and talking and probably talking her freaking face off. But yeah, I, I never really thought that um, doing this would actually be something that I enjoyed. And it also makes me like consider wanting to do counseling like on my own for like personal reasons because yeah, I just, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of unresolved issues that I have like from being a child and, you know, I mean, we all have something that goes on with us in our life. So, you know, I know I'm not the only one, but you know, there, I do feel like I need maybe some kind of closure for things. And, you know, I, I can see now how things have affected me, like as I've gone on through life and how they can get worse and worse. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that, like it was actually a really positive experience for me. So we are on day, what is this? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're on day six of the ankle monitor 45 days is nothing i know and really like i don't i don't go anywhere but still happy saturday folks so i am getting ready i get have some visitors coming today okay sorry for this uh let me try and fix that is that better i have some visitors coming today um my mom is coming over and my auntie and one of my really really good friends from high school um she's such a she's a really good friend actually she always is such a sweetheart to me and she like goes out of her way to um help me out and make me feel good and stuff and yeah she's just a really good friend so um they're coming over today and my mom wants to do, my mom and my auntie want me to do their makeup, which is fine. I like doing makeup. I haven't done makeup on someone else in a long time. Oh, it's just nice that I have visitors because I can't go anywhere, first of all, but I haven't had a vis visitors at my house in a while. Besides, like, my family, of course, like my mom and stuff, but uh, this will, I think this will be the first time my friend's ever been to my house since we've lived here. So, I'm excited. I talked to my babe last night. And, uh, 
it was a good conversation. Um, yeah, and I get to see him a little bit later today on Skype. Uh, I'm just really missing him. I stayed up pretty late last night. But I stayed up till like 1 looking at old pictures of us together, family, videos we had together. And yeah, I just miss him. Stupid ass thing. Anyways, so I'm just reminiscing on my couch. Look at our family. I was actually pregnant with my son at this time. He looks angry. Wow, this guy. <laughs> out all of these uh, postcards that he sent me that I liked like my favorite ones um, he didn't draw these he's he doesn't draw like that but um, I, I believe he just like you know traded food and stuff to have somebody draw these up for us like based off our pictures so I'm gonna put all of these uh, into this what is this photo album I'm gonna put them in this photo album and yeah, so this is the size of card that we're allowed to use. That's it. Like, he doesn't get letters or anything. It has to be this this little postcard that we can actually write each other on. Let me show you. So, yeah. I mean, we have to write, like, super small. And uh, this right here, this right here is, like, a quarter of the actual postcards I've gotten since he's gone. I guarantee I have like, I probably have like at least a thousand that he sent, so in two years. Anyways, it was a pretty good day today. I had a lot of uh, fun seeing my friend. It's always good times when I see her, whenever we see each other, it's like, it was like no time passed at all. So I was really happy that she came to visit me. She even bought my son. So her son is actually, um, a little bit older than my son they're both four but like they're a little bit um he's a little bit younger sorry he's a little bit younger but he's bigger so like when he grows out of his clothes she usually gives them to my son which is really sweet of her so and they're always in really good condition so anyway so i was really happy that she came over to visit and i haven't been i was doing pretty good on my diet this week um today not so much we did eat taco bell so yeah but i'm i still plan on keeping on like making healthier decisions um my one thing that has like how fat my finger still is but i was able to get the, <laughs> this ring back on it has a band that goes with it but um yeah i was like i'm not gonna push it so that's one thing one victory i was able to get my one of my rings on i have like three different uh rings that my man bought me but none of them fit me so i'm really sad so i'm trying so i'm also trying to lose weight because i want to be able to wear one of my one of my rings again so anyways yeah it was a pretty good good day overall i'm gonna um just finish i am washing my son's seat over there 
like the cover for it was all nasty. So I'm gonna finish doing that. And then I'm watering my lawn and I'm gonna go to bed. We gotta get up and go to my nephew's uh, baby blessing tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. And honestly, I might, I'm probably gonna wear the same dress again because it's the only one I have that's like long. So if you see me in this tomorrow, yeah, I do that. Hot one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to get some food. What do you want to eat, Bubba? Huh? Say it louder. McDonald's. Ew, he wants McDonald's. So everyone else is going over to um, my nephew's mother's house to eat. But we have to go home because they're supposed to be at home at one, so. We gotta get McDonald's, though.